Well, the rush is on now to collect signatures and file petitions for the Buffalo School Board elections come May. Well, this year, all seats are up and a teenager is ready to challenge an incumbent. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing is live outside Lafayette High School, where a candidate's forum is going to be held this evening. Claudine? And you're right, Mary Alice, tonight from 6 o'clock until 8 o'clock, there is going to be a candidates forum for Buffalo School Board candidates here at Lafayette High School. Candidates will be talking about a little bit of everything from suspensions to improving the graduation rates, also how they can make things better for those who are uh, using English as a second language. But one thing is for certain, there is a young man that I spoke with who is hoping to get a seat on the school board, and I had a chance to sit down and speak with him. Joseph Gibson is 18 years old, a college student majoring in childhood education. Just last year, he graduated from McKinley High School. He plans to run for the ferry district seat on the school board. I know the children would like unity, first off, because how can we call ourselves a body and the body is not completely functioning together? How can we be a school board and we have problems with one another and we fight with one another, but we're looking for the best for our children? That necessarily doesn't make sense to me. Sharon Belton Cotman holds that seat right now. She doesn't see things that, that way. I don't feel that the current board is dysfunctional. I feel that they uh, work together. They work well together. Moving forward, or I definitely want to see the graduation rate uh, pushed into the 80s and better. Gibson thinks his recent experience in the Buffalo schools um, gives him an advantage. He wants to see smaller class sizes and better security. I think that there was a, a lack of security presence inside our school. There is a lot of more work that needs to be done in uh, all aspects of the district, but the security under uh, Dr. Cash um, and the smaller classroom sizes are being managed. All nine seats on the Buffalo School Board will be on the ballot in May. Board President Barbara Seals Nevergold, Patricia Pierce, Teresa Harris Tigg, and Larry Quinn are not seeking re-election for their current seats. That's unfortunate that he's not going to be on the board because Larry brings um, a level of expertise to the board and he genuinely wants to see progress in the district. Several key issues will be on the table, including a contract extension for Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Cash. Buffalo His nearly $300,000 contract expires next year, around. and he wants an extension. And both candidates are still collecting signatures for their petition to get on the ballot. We should note that this form again starts here at Lafayette High School tonight at 6 o'clock. As for the school board election, that is set for May 7th. Reporting live outside of Lafayette High School in Buffalo, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.